Good afternoon, my friends. My name is Donnie. I am from Davenport, Iowa. I am down here to bring you the glorious good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. My friend Tony here, my friend Jorge, my friend son, Leo. <coughs> Leo, I'm out here passing out gospel tracks. These tracks are not just cars with words on them. They are words of life, eternal life. The power of God's salvation it is the gospel that we are ashamed of. But as your friends, we, we come down here to give you the most loving, the most warning message that you will hear in all of your life. It is the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the goodness of God that I will be, that I will be proclaiming to you. I'll be reading from the book of Romans. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and righteousness of man, who by the unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so that they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Therefore God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worshiped the Son and the creature rather than the creator. God bless. Amen. For this reason, God gave them unto them all of his actions, for the women to change natural relations for those who are unto him to make them. Ma'am, may I get your door? Okay. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to the base mind to do what ought not be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, manner of murder, strife, you see, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but they approve of those who practice them. This is the word of the Lord. That we are all under the wrath of God because of our sin, <laughs> our sin nature that we were born with, that was wicked and vile from the very first moment we was conceived out of our mother's womb, and it manifests in so many different ways. And God is present before us this very afternoon as we continue to live in our sin. We continue to take God's mercy for granted. Keep going, keep going. And the wrath of God abides upon us. For what may be known of God is revealed to us. I mean, it's obvious that we are here, a mere of God's creation, and the, and the Creator has created everything. But yet we don't acknowledge that because of our sin, our hearts are darkened and our minds are futile. We love our sin and we hate our Creator. We love ourselves and we hate our Creator. God bless you. Yes. All we have are the tracks today. We all have the tracks today. And because of that, the wrath of God abides upon us. And the wages of our sin that we accumulated from the moment we was conceived out of our, out of our mother's womb is, is death. Eternal hellfire. Consider your life. Consider your dog life, my friends. Which one of us has ever had a perfect, pure thought life? Consider your words, the words that come out of your mouth. Which one of us has ever said anything perfect and pure and without sin in our words? Consider where you live, my friends. Right now, you live for the temporal, for the eternity waits all of us. Consider right now the brevity of your life. Consider right now 
how much you take God's mercy for granted, his goodness. But because God is good, you should fear in trouble. Because God is holy, you should fear in trouble. Because he will pay judgment to his adversaries. He will pour out his vengeance, my friend. Please understand the weight of your sin, the deceitfulness of your sin, the heinousness of your sin. That you shake your fist at God, the, the God who created you in his image. Yes, my friends, you are image bearers. You have eternal soul that will live forever. But yet you wake up and you look in the mirror and you say, I'm going to worship you today. And the wrath of God abides upon you. It is you that will be on trial. It is you that will be judged. If you continue to stay in your sin, but all oh, my friends, I do not want you to perish in your sins. Why will you be foolish and perish in your sins? For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fools despise the wisdom and instruction. There is a way out, my friends. And his name is Jesus Christ, your Lord and Creator. Jesus Christ came to this earth. He took on flesh and blood. He never knew sin, without sin, fully God, fully man. Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. He walked in full fellowship with the Father. He came to seek and save the lost. He came to tell the world his ways is bad. All of our ways are bad. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to man, but the end leads to death. Which path are you on, my friends? Are you on a path to life that leads to life? Or are you on a path to death that leads to death? Jesus Christ is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. And he said, enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the path that leads to destruction. But narrow is the gate and difficult, and only few find it. You must repent and turn from your sin, the sin that Jesus Christ died for. And in his gracious mercy, his righteousness will be imputed to, upon you. And your sin will be thrown upon him. The wrath of God that the Son experienced, Jesus Christ experienced. You will no longer be under. Because not of anything you've done, my friends, but because of the righteousness of another. And his name is Jesus Christ. For there is no name given in heaven, other heaven, all of the earth, by which we must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Your knee will bow now and it will, it will bow on a great judgment day. I pray, I pray, I beg you, my friend, that your knee would not bow on that great day. As he said, depart from me, you practice lawlessness. Today could be the day of your salvation. Come to Christ and live, my friends. Be reconciled to God the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. But you must deny yourself. You must lay down your burdens of self-righteousness. Whatever you think you can do to be right with God, whether it's legisla legislation, education, or medication, that will never suffice. But there's only one perfect sacrificial work that will suffice, and it's Jesus Christ's blood and righteousness. His finished work on the cross. Come to Christ, beg for mercy. He is your only hope for this life and life after. See, my friends, God is present in hell, and his wrath is present in hell. And if you die in your sins this very moment, that's when you will be feeling the full weight of God's wrath. Understand what the wrath of God means. All the heavenly hosts will be against you. All the creation will be against you. All of God's saints will be against you as the wrath of God will be upon you, whether it's weeping and gnashing of teeth forever and ever. But Christ said, come to me. Come to me for I'm burdened and I'm heavy laden. For I'm lowly and gentle in heart. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Come to Christ, my friends, and live. 
Why would you perish in your sin? Remember your creator this very day. Remember the word of the Lord that has spoken to you. Today, today, if you are hearing this voice, do not harden your heart as in a rebellion. Do not harden your heart as in a rebellion. Today is the day of salvation. Turn to Christ and live. Flee from the wrath to come. Flee from the wrath that you abide upon. Today is the day. Beg for mercy. Come to the cross. Come to the bread of life. Come to the living water that you might hunger no more. That you might thirst no more. Not in the physical sense, but spiritual. That you might have life and life eternal. Come to Christ. He is your only hope. He is your Lord and He is your creator. And He commands and demands you to repent, to hate and forsake all, and come to Him. Come to Christ, my friend, while God has given you time. God bless.